I just did my first Tom McFarlane reaction to People So Stupid, and I loved every word of it. Um, I agreed with every single point. I love that Tom doesn't jump around to different topics. He does not jump from one topic to another before you can even process it. He really dives deep into the issues in an intellectual manner that's digestible. Now, people have been commenting on my videos saying, like, you're funny. Like, I like your channel. And to those people, I would like to say, fuck off. Please leave my, like, stop. Okay, it's getting ridiculous. And I don't want the likes, comments, and subscriptions. It's I'm getting flooded. I did this channel just to watch my own videos on YouTube because it was a weird childhood dream I had. And people started showing up. Point being, Tom is great. Okay? I loved the points he was making and people so stupid. And I can't wait to find out what Tom has in store for snowflakes. Let's see. If you lie to the government, they'll put you in prison. But when they lie to all of us, it's called being a politician. You think taking guns away will save our kids from the killings? But you're pro-choice. Abortion kills way more children. If America's so terrible... That's a very good point. We should probably lock people up. We should hang on. Let's go through it again. We'll we'll address it. put you in prison. But when they lie to all of us, it's called being a Yeah, we should be throwing more people in, in prison for expressing themselves. Okay, I don't think there's a lot of confusion these days about freedom of speech. Guys, if you express an opinion that differs from somebody else. Let's cut the bullshit. Go straight immediately to violence. Violence, throw them in jail. F get out the medieval torture weapons. Okay, go medieval on their asses. Okay, I want to see some Tarantino shit. You know what I mean? If you ex And also, thank God. Thank our politicians for lying to us. Because, could you imagine if they told the truth? Could you imagine how upsetting it would be if they told the truth? Well, it, uh, yes, there, uh, is a war going on. We, the CIA has, um, assassinated 14 enemy general leaders. And last night I was actually cheating on my wife with not one, but seven prostitutes. I did cocaine off of each of their asses. And yes, I'm embezzling funds. Could you imagine how upsetting that would be if they were honest about what really goes on in the world? We don't, you know, we don't want to hear that. I would prefer the politicians lie to us. Politician, you think taking guns away will save our kids from the killings? But your pro-choice abortion kills way more children. If America's yeah, so terrible and yeah. racist, no, we we should be supporting. I believe what Tom is saying. My biggest problem is people misconstrue my words on my videos and they comment like, hey, they completely don't understand what I'm trying to say. But obviously what Tom is trying to say here is that we should support abortion, first of all. And second of all, we should have more of them because these kids are getting out of hand. I mean, these kids, they have terrible attitudes. They're stuck up. They're privileged. They're entitled. And Tom's saying we need to get rid of them. There's too many. And I actually agree with what Tom is saying. Um, I know it's controversial for me to say I agree with that, but I do. I do. Probably isn't safe to encourage immigration. Just saying, all the contradictions are embarrassing. You know who hates America the most? Americans. Trigger warnings used to Ooh. be on TV. For As they should. As they should. The most American... People have the freedom of expression. They have the rebelliousness here. The most American thing you can do is hate your own country. These are the true revolutionaries. You should hate your own country. I don't care where you live. You should hate it. I don't care how nice it is. I don't care if you don't have to worry about getting shot, robbed, killed, broken into. It doesn't matter. You should hate where you live. And that, in essence, is the most American thing you could do. Okay? to hate the government. I mean, to hate the government, hate everything they do, hate the politicians, hate the policies, hate the system, the political, the election system. Oh, forget it. Hate it all. I agree with Tom. For seizures, and now they're everywhere to protect millennials' feelings. He, she, his, him, hers, them, they, screw a pronoun. Because everyone's a retard these days. Here I'm preaching at the protest that hatred's the problem, but hate She's hot. 
pronoun Cause everyone's a retard these days I hear him preaching at the protest that hatred's the problem But hating straight men, white folks, and Christians is common Coca-Cola telling people they should be less white They preach intolerance, but if you disagree, they fight Yeah, yeah, okay, thank God Coca-Cola said something The first company to get real Okay, thank God they, they said be less white I mean, whiteness is just it's a plague and an infection upon humanity. I read this book recently called White Fragility, and it enlightened me as to how racist I am. And it's a really great book because if you read it, you realize pretty quick you are racist. And if you think you're not racist, it's because you're too offended to realize how you partake in racism. And, and I am not. I am not misrepresenting the book. This is actually what the book is about, and it enlightened me as to how evil and terrible. I mean, I am a terrible racist human being, and I every day, I went to the store the other day, and I bought an energy drink from a black-owned company. And I, I went back home, I read, read White Fragility, and it kept me humble because I realized I was still taking part in racism because I was trying to be the white savior in supporting black business. It's you can't win and and you should be emotionally distressed about everything because everything is evil. And most importantly, if you're white, you are the fucking problem. And that should change. Race war here, elections based on fear. Black lives only matter once every four years. Soldiers died Agreed. for this country, and every one of us benefits. Give welfare to the bums and forget about the veterans. Black folks and white folks divided by the news, but we are all the same. We are red, white, and blue. Ashamed to be American? Okay, that's cool. Because honestly, we are all ashamed of you too. Y'all are so fake. Yeah, so Tom said, We are ashamed of you, America, too. That's all. I, I'm glad Canadians are also ashamed of America. And I, I, I hate when people misconstrue what I say. And so I love to see people who just cut through the bullshit. Ashamed to be American. Yeah, that's cool. And it is cool because we are all ashamed of you too, meaning the rest of the world. Canadians, Europeans, Africans, Asians, everywhere is ashamed of America and especially Americans. And that's the way things should be. Oh no, the forecast said that there'd be snowflakes. Whoa. I'm at, we're actually supposed to get snow tomorrow, so this is fucking crazy. I don't know how Tom knows this shit. I mean, he must be from another planet. Um, and I'm glad he got this um, beautiful, beautiful... I'm glad he chose a, um, a, a, a woman born... Uh, someone who was born into the right gender and just feels secure in her femininity um you know just a normal regular binary person to jump on the video with him to talk about how you know you know all the trans stuff all the it's all bad right we can all agree like your feelings don't matter you're not real science is fake and global warming is the bee's knees so you know i feel like i've spoken like truth and facts already i'm just glad that tom you know didn't reach across the aisle and find like a trans woman i just you know she's not you know you know you know she's not one of them oh i hope this channel does not get shut down you know she's not one of them um but tom mcdonald great um we're gonna keep going with this i don't think for a second that i'm about to stutter and get not i i'm serious this is all serious make us see it your way no way gasoline and probe more flames oh no no more snowflakes i would bang the fuck out of her if i was not in a committed relationship with a beautiful woman that i absolutely love I, I'd probably bang her. They set us up to fail. That's what they built the system for. Put an ammunition shop across the street from a liquor store. Empowering women oh. used to be different than this before. The an ammunition shop across from a liquor store. In this, it's 2023. Need we really put these things far from each other? I have to make two trips every day when I go out 
to my I, I have a daily routine okay liquor store gun store walmart okay i believe in not consuming a lot so i keep it simple liquor store gun store walmart i don't like amazon okay thank god tom is talking about the real issues we need to put the liquor stores next to the gun stores i'm wasting gas man i am not rich okay i'm not made of money like this guy wearing the gucci jacket pretending like it's cold in there when he obviously lives in los angeles it's never cold there but tom's hitting the real points put the liquor stores next to the gun stores save yourself the gas Role models got only fans or dance on a stripper pole. Screw it, I ain't tripping. I don't mean to be mean. But if our children are the future, then our future is bleak. They Agreed. take it out of raw to focus, hit McDonald's. To Agreed, and that's why we need the abortion he was talking about. Oh my god, thank you, Tom. Eat. They're addicted to phones and they take Xanax to sleep. They blurred the lines dividing communism and democracy. In 2021, we paint the patriots as Nazis. The men playing women's sports get trophies for winning. Like, great, let's celebrate a man for beating some women. If you're black, you're like. Yeah, man. I love to see the. Like, I love to see a biological. I love to see biological men beating women. Thanks, Tom. Thanks for saying it, man. I was scared to come out and say it, but Tom gets it. He he really gets it. He's he's doing the right thing. He's sacrificing his privacy and his ability to just be alone and be himself to speak to the greater good of, you know, we need more men going into women's sports and absolutely eviscerating them, especially in the UFC, okay? I agree, and I suspect Tom is not a fan of feminism, and so I propose we get legislation to where if you are a man and you're in the UFC, you have to by default identify as a woman just so that we can go teach the feminists a lesson. That's what Tom is saying, and I couldn't agree more. Your life matters, you're supposed to embrace it. If you're rich or you're smart, then you're probably Asian. If you're gay, then you're brave. All of that I'm okay with. But if you're white, the stereotype is you are a racist. Blaming capitalism like that's the reason things are tough. You when are. you tweet from an iPhone and sip on a Starbucks, you're supporting what you stand against. You don't think you are, but a Percocet addict don't donate money to pharma. Hang on, man. I gotta send a text on my iPhone real quick. But you know what the real problem with this world is? Capitalism. Capitalism. You may have gotten ads on this video. Okay, don't be deceived. I am being held hostage by capitalism. I have to put ads on my video to buy food. And it's fucked up that you would watch my videos and support me with ad revenue so that I can feed my family. That is fucked up. And that is what cap the essence of capitalism is helping people and we need to help less people we need darwinism survival of the fittest we need people to die off we need murder we need you know i you know we need the bad things that humans are capable of to to be legalized and glorified and i mean guns drugs you know misogyny these are the bread and butter and backbone of any thriving society why are we trying to fight them why are we trying to shut them down and tom gets it the man gets it i don't know what else to say damn dog we're all afraid to speak the truth and the more afraid we get the more we hate the ones who do you're ashamed to be american okay that's cool because honestly we are all ashamed of you too y'all are so fake oh no the forecast said that there be snowflakes whoa you can make us see it your way, no way, gasoline and propane, more flames, oh no, no more snowflakes. We can all get along, but I, I agree with Tom. He's saying no more snowflakes, let's trash the environment, let's take global warming to the next level, Pros drill into the ground, Get the oil, process it to make jet fuel, and then dump the jet fuel in the ocean. I'm sick of snow. I fucking hate the cold. I wish it was warm all the time. Okay? Unfortunately, we don't get, all get to live in Los Angeles where Tom McDonald lives and have it be warm all the time. So I agree. Let's trash the environment, litter, I hate people just to get their blood boiling to heat up the environment. Tom... 
Tom gets it. There's no stopping. Everybody's wrong. That's a real problem. They don't want to hear it, but they still talking. Soon enough, we running out of options. This ain't gonna end till it's in the coffin. We ain't gonna be friends till we try to squash it. I don't know how we can make amends or we drop it. Snowflakes melt when it's hot, kid. Y'all are so fake. Oh no. The forecast said that there'd be snowflakes. Whoa. You can make us see it. You I told I told a kid the same thing recently, actually. I, I said, you know, she was asking, what is what is snow? What happens to snow? What, like, where's snow come from? I said, well, you know, snow's made of water, and um, ultimately the important thing is snow melts when it's hot, kid. And, um, you know, Tom's really teaching us how to educate the children properly. He's, he's really doing it, and, and uh, mad respect for Mr. McFarlane. Um, you know, he's Seth, Seth's nephew, Seth McFarlane's nephew, I believe, and that's how he got his fame, his rise to fame. Tom didn't work for it. You know, they say people, I've read in the comments, he's the biggest independent artist. You know, it's not true. Seth McFarlane gave Tom McDonald or Tom McFarlane his career, and I eat at McDonald's a lot, so that's why I fucked that up and accidentally said his name wrong. Tom McFarlane, man, speaking the truth to power. And more importantly, speaking the truth to pussies. You know? Your way, no way. Gasoline and propane. More flames. Oh no. No more snowflakes. Well, that's it. Another Tom McDonald completely serious reaction for you guys. Fuck, I did it again. I keep mispronouncing it. Tom McFarlane reaction for you guys. Thus nephew. Don't like the don't like the video. Don't comment. Don't recommend. Don't subscribe. I'm ending this before people get ideas.